All right, you savages. Everyone's, everybody's been asking me, hey, play Flint Hook with keyboard and mouse. So I figured, let's give it a try, all right? I already feel like I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. I'll mash it open, please. Phoenix. It's like if you die, come back to life, maybe? Seems sensible. Extends your slow motion gauge. Took another sip of the potion, hit the three wheel motion. Um, let's just stick with our existing loadout just for now because I'm gonna be getting used to the control scheme as well. Gamblinger, Librarius. Let's go Gamblinger. I'm not really familiar with it. Um, so yeah, people have said literally you're just handicapping yourself. And I don't need a handicap when I play Flint Hook, uh, because I bring my own to the table on a regular basis, apparently. However, we have succeeded in a raid, and we might be able to succeed in more raids if keyboard and mouse work out well enough for me. But normally I'm not much of a platform guy on keyboard and mouse, but I think that comes from, uh... I think that comes from... There we go. I just had to figure out what the controls were. Assuming right-click is that, yeah. I think that comes from, uh playing a lot of emulated Super Nintendo games. Don't tell Nintendo. And then you're like, wait, you want me Jump is mapped to the Z button? Are you out of your mind? It might take us a little while here, but like, I'll level with you. It does already feel a little bit better. Well, I mean, that was not a great example, but it does already feel a little bit better right off the bat. Um, in the sense that it's much easier for me to aim where I actually want to aim to. And now I'm thinking, my god, why was I so stubborn? And you're going, I know, why were you so stubborn? But, like, for real, this does seem like the way the game was meant to be played. But if controller works for you, then by all means. Whoever, I, was it you, Mathis, that talked to me and said, <laughs> was it you, Mathis, that spoke to me? Because that's not okay. Was it you that talked to me and said, the keyboard and mouse seems fu funky? Because honestly, you are incorrect. It feels amazing so far. I would like to grab this, please. It costs us 200. We can't afford it. That's all right. If you gotta ask, you can't afford it. Um, apparently, you can get a cursed perk out of that, which I'd rather not do. Hopefully, this is the dawning of a new era for us with respect to. Oh, that was a laser, and I was just trying to get the coins. Uh, the dawning of a new era for us with respect to uh, flint hook play, but I am at like half life. Ha ha ha, oh, I wonder if you'll make a third one ever, ha ha ha. Now we are at half of our existing HP already, roughly, so be careful. At the same time, it is very nice to actually be able to target enemies with a little bit more regularity. I'm not saying controller was bad, I didn't even see that dude. Just that it wasn't maybe as good. I see you jokers in the comments, by the way. They say, ooh, take a, take a shot every time. Is it E to throw, by the way? No. Control? Q? Q, there we go. Just had to figure out what it was. Um, take a shot every time NL uh, forgets to pick up coins from enemies. Oh, wait, you can't or you'll be dead. Look, don't get nasty, friendo. Sometimes you gotta leave those coins behind. Sometimes you gotta step away from the limelight, like when I was on the grind in the 1999. Kanye West. Oh, W is jump as well. Mm, I don't know. I'm, I'm a space bar jump man, I think. What about you? Are you a space bar jump man? Or are you a, um. Are you a W jumper? These are ghosts? Not ghosts, just money. Okay. It is still, like, there's a learning period associated with this, but I will say I feel a lot more comfortable already. Uh, I don't think we need to buy anything. I think we'll just head straight downwards instead. Um, haven't been playing very well so far, but I feel like I have the capabilities to play a lot better as a result of this. Like, just even that little segment right there made me feel like I actually know what I'm doing, which is incredible to me. So open this bad boy up. What do we get? Apples. And get you another person said, <laughs> in my opinion, you should get used to using your hook more to locomote and also the Jedi are evil. So I was like, you know what? That's the most digestible form of criticism. Thank you so much for merging genuine feedback with prequel memes. I hope we will look back on um, the previous period of Flint Hook as like the Dark Ages before we knew what we were doing at all. I mean, we are back to full HP, which is obviously a great start. 
couple episodes ago, I was talking about secret rooms, and I was like, hey, you know, a skull denotes a secret room, and then later in the episode, I said, hey, what's this skull for? So, uh... I'm trying to redeem myself ever so slightly here. I did find a secret room in the episode after that, though, so hopefully some redemption. But we got we got our work cut out for us in terms of making ourselves look like we actually know what we're doing in Flint Hook. But you know what? Oh, that was bad. I, uh, I've been having a good time with the game, and more than just a good time, I've been having an increasingly good time as I figure out more about the progression system. I don't want to buy this stuff. I want you to provide for me the gambling house again, which is just to our uh, right there. But I want to explore a little bit more while we're here, mostly because I feel like we can now. By the way, you're probably going to hear some keyboard noises, but uh, oh, that'll be no surprise to you if you've, uh, if you've watched me play Isaac for any length of time. Get out of here with that. Okay. I am still trying to look for secret rooms, but I haven't trained my brain yet to... To know when they're coming. Frost globe. Great item. Thank you. No, I don't want the bomb. Uh, you know what? I mean, why not at least try? Didn't do anything, and that's my own fault, but... You get the idea. The frost globe is so good. At least it feels so good. I knew that I would, yeah. I feel good. I knew that I would, yeah. So good. So good. I got you. Good, oh, good work, team. Good work. Where, if I were a secret room, where would I be? Just go. Just go. Is it always skulls, or is it only skulls in the first level? It's probably always skulls, huh? You know what I also need? I need an air jump. I keep thinking, like, if I walk off an edge instead of jumping, I'll have an extra jump in midair. And that ain't the way the cookie crumbles, unfortunately. Okay, so we are gonna gamble here. Let's go. Let's go! Augments the might of your critical blasts. Maybe it only counts as a, uh, a crit on collision, because right now... I mean, we just fired, like, maybe 20 shots and didn't see any double barrel blasts, but... Maybe they don't even show as double barrel blasts. Maybe they just show as, uh... Or they don't show us anything, and instead they just give you more damage. I don't know. Kind of trying to peep uh, potential secret rooms here. Didn't see one there, but again, could be mistaken. Let's head downwards. We've already been down here, but I just want to see quickly if there's a chance for secret rooms. They might be down there vertically or something, but who knows. What about in here? Not that I can... See. And then in the boss room? Can you have a secret room in the boss room? That would turn the roguelite genre on its head. If there could be a secret room in a boss room. That's like some next level shenanigans. So we're gonna be in full HP. We took our sweet time there. We get to open a space shell. Get basically the same reward out of every single one. That's fine. So I can't promise that we're gonna go through every single floor every single time. But I can promise you that even if the results don't reflect it, which so far they've been pretty good, but even if the results don't reflect it in the end, so far it's been very, very good. It feels more fluid this way, so thank you for suggesting it. You know what? Let's go full on gambling runs, dude. I'm ready. I'm not, this isn't like a PC versus console thing, by the way. Oh, you know what? Let me pause the game briefly and make sure I have hard drive space because I should, but I don't know. I've been doing pretty bad in Isaac lately, so maybe those runs are getting slightly longer and pushing us off. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay. Um, this is like exactly the same starting room. Either way. Well, no, that's not true. It has some exits on different sides. We do have enough money, or we should have enough money. Let's... Gain more XP, but your plasma pistol is weaker. Sad. Did we have to, though? I mean, the XP is good, don't get me wrong. And if we're gonna lose anyway, which is semi-plausible, getting that experience for a permanent gain might be good. Um, but I, yeah, I'm not trying to turn this into like a PC versus console thing, but it is uh, nice to have like a full, easy 360 degrees of... Uh, 
movement. As opposed to the analog stick, which is, you know, 360 degrees, but it's, like, sort of also not, you know what I mean? You know what? Hear me out here. Okay, I have squandered that to a huge degree. Maybe we should just go for wall jumps. Hmm, there's a spike on the side permanently there. No, we, we can do this, we can do this. No! Okay, we're safe, we're safe. No! So I'll just tell you straight up, I think we're gonna make it through this room. We never would have done so with the controller. God, you know what? Okay. Give it one more shot. See, this is a fairly good place to be standing. I understand, I think, what I need to do, and what I need to do is... Like, get a huge leap. Okay, we should just go straight down. Because this is probably going to kill us. But you see the- I, I see the the keys to the kingdom there, I'm just not making it happen with good, you know, potentiality there. So we need to heal ourselves up something fierce, because life's not looking so great. That's fine. Um, but with the controller, no chance. Of course, by the way, going down was a lot easier than coming up, so once we actually made it, we'd be fine. Um, but we need to- we need to make sure that we're doing right by ourselves and we don't die there, so... I say for now, we just tell that puzzle room to shove off. Oh, no. And we live our lives. We got no keys right now, so we can't open that door. We really, um... Desire a combat room right now. That room is actually great. Sign me up, please. And we need to do this room without getting hit. Is the, the long and short of it. Dude, being able to, like, easily land hooks is a dream come true. Except for that time. So just shoot them when they get close. If they have a bubble, don't shoot them. Hook them instead. And leave the currency behind for now. The currency is secondary to your actual HP. If it disappears, it disappears, but it's... It's a fool's mate, dude. Four bubbles? No bubbles? Now that is a surprise, but a welcome one. No! I saw it ha I saw it happen in my head. It's alright, learning experience, learning experience. We're still getting two apples. Two apples. One apple. Fudge. Disappointing. Oh, get the coins, though. That time, the coins are easy. Plus, we can use the coins to buy foods, so... Maybe we should go full-on coin meta. We should be like former Chicago Blackhawks defenseman Adrian Acoin. What up? It's your boy, Adrian Acoin. Good stuff there. Got some apples. Got a token, which I believe is just extra money for beating it without taking damage. I like it. Is this like a champion? This would be a great time to have our frost globe still exist. So like, so far so good. It was actually extremely easy for a boss fight. We've done it again. Gone and done it again, y'all. Wild Wild West, 55 HP. You know we're gonna heal up in there as well, but we haven't even... Oh, we did see the Gamblarium, right? I know that that's not what they call it. They call it something slightly different, but uh, I like the phrasing of Gamblarium better, so... Also, the phrasing of Glam <laughs> Gamblarium is my favorite uh, Bram Stoker novel, so... I'm gonna keep mentioning it. You'll just have to take my word for it that... Oh, okay, where did I get that key? 
Maybe that's what that sound was that I thought was us picking up a sweet token. And it was picking up a sweet token, but also it was the the key sound. What do we get there? Vial of Vitamin. Healing items got a whole lot stronger. That seems like, for an idiot like me, that seems like the world's best Christmas present. So, I think we are going to leave now. But what I was going to say is you're just going to have to take my word for it that it feels uh, a whole lot better now on keyboard and mouse. I wish I'd switched to this faster. And I know the comments could be like, oh, you don't th you don't say, right? You got me. What can I say, you know? Sometimes stubbornness is productive and sometimes it's not. That was not very smart of me, by the way, but... What do we get? What do we get? Well, first off, we get money. And then we get... Give me the apple, please. The apple heals for 15. It's actually quite good. 50% stronger healing items. It's not quite Maggie's bow, but it's solid. Alright, we're halfway done with the raid. We still have a problem. And the problem is, how are we going to kill this boss? Because we didn't even hurt the boss last time. It wasn't like we came close. It was We didn't solve the riddle of the Sphinx at the least. So we have Danger Room, Rumble Room, Spectral Squad. Purseful Gambling... Glam, Gamblinarium. Yeah, we're going to continue to go for the Gamblariums. Simply because... We're due. We're due for a win! But we're also doing fairly well so far. Okay. Let's go left. I tend not to go left. I'm a, I'm a go right man in action games. Because they train you that way, right? You know, Contra doesn't go, hey, welcome to the level, now go left. Let's not be ridiculous. That's sacrilegious. I think we should keep cracking vases. It also, I mean, real life didn't train me to crack vases. You know what happens when I see a vase in real life? Well, I mean, first I go, why do you have a vase? Like, are you a hundred years old? And then secondly, I go, hey, cool vase. Normally, I don't do that. Pirates zing. Or more XP. Let's go Pirate Zing. You get some extra kick by adding plus 10 to your HP. I was actually hoping we could shoot things and get HP. But sure, I'll take an extra 10 HP. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Ah, uh, right. These guys. Your shots, your shots do not go through these walls. What a world. Well, I don't think we have a secret room here, so... Let's get the heck out of here. It almost felt like I knew what I was doing with the slow-mo there. It's like a brand new era for us and therefore the world. He's done it. That room's actually like tougher than the the puzzle room there. Oh, oh no, it's, they're everywhere. Forget the coins, dude, are you kidding me? That room is rife with nastiness. Okay, so we have no keys. All right, this is where we're getting our money back. Are those pressure plates, by the way? No, they're just shootable platforms, okay. Try to prioritize the currency a little bit more. They, oh, you idiot. I, I sorta, I saw the puzzle manifesting itself, or like the, the order optimally to kill that room. I just messed it up. That's okay. You did an okay job of getting coins on that one. I'm not too bummed. We got our bomb back anyway. You get hit once, you get one apple. That's a better than even trade for us at this point in our lives, thanks to uh, the Vila vitamins. They might be Vila vitamins, you know, like Bob Vila from... Uh... Wow, that was scary. Um, Bob Vila from This Old House. It's, they're probably not. I don't know if Bob Vila uh, signed off on that, but... You know, somebody contact HGTV and see for themselves. That was a very good room for us. Yeah, we must... That is the key sound. Okay, so we have... Access to Key Town now. Which was this way? Yes. 
Oh, you're a real smart guy. Stop! They're shooting too fast. Potion? Cellar? No, I don't know if we even should have come into this room. We get the bomb, but it's a little on the weak side. Uh, well, I mean, it's not weak, but I don't really want to buy a potion that we have to use immediately. Especially knowing we're going to heal up for a little bit before our... Uh, I mean, we still have one more raid to go, right? Before our uh, before our boss fight. So, let's not worry about that too much. Yet. Oh, Jesus. A little photosensitivity warning here. Oh, but I, I beat it without getting hit. No, they know I was trying to cheat the system. Although I beat it without getting hit, the chest spawned after I got hit, so... Oh, that was the boss. Okay, you know what? That makes sense. I'm not as bummed out now. Two apples, please. I will say, smashing the space shell, like, if it's just gonna give me the same thing every time, it's not the same dopamine release as opening a flippin' booster pack, you know what I mean? Only the cursed may board the ghost galleon. I wonder if that's something we're gonna need to keep in mind for the future. Maybe you gotta become a ghost to go to the ghost level. I don't know. There's another Gamblarium. It is on a four skull room, but I ain't ever scared. It does say platoon on board. It does say rumble room. It does say asphyxia. But as long as they give me the chance to gamble, let's go for it, dude. Although I didn't gamble on that last one. I don't think I, I found the room, which I should have, but... All right, so what's the, how are we doing so far? Actually pretty good, like, I actually feel like I possess the manual dexterity necessary to do some of these uh, slightly trickier jumps. We should shoot the barrel, let's be honest. I don't know though, is, is money persistent? Like if you defeat, uh, or if you succeed on a raid, Do you, uh, get that money for your next raid? This is so n not necessary, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, I've seen this room before. These guys are a problem. But their shots are getting blocked. Is there a patch or something? I feel like... Like, a higher percentage of shots are getting blocked than ever before. Which is great, actually, because I felt like the AI kind of got a disproportionate advantage there. Don't forget, you know, you got the Frost Globe. He's done it. More enemies? Tell you what, Frost Globe. No! <laughs> This is actually terrible. I used my sub weapon, got hit twice, and didn't kill anything. So, not my finest moment. I actually got my my butt kicked on this room. And it's not even over yet. Oh my god, dude! The coins are out of control, but that horrible jump. That's all right. Plenty of. Plenty of time to come back from this. This is a two or three apple room. It's gotta be. Otherwise, there's no justice in this world. I see one apple. That's a little on the rough side, just to be honest with you here. Right, that just changes the dimensions, right? Right, okay, you know what? I've decided we will try to do that room, but not immediately. Kind of in tight right now. It would be nice for us to uh, to get some extra HP back. I right, will gamble. Let's do it. He's done it. Gain more XP, but any healing effects are reduced. So I have created a hell of my own creation now. Mm, so I hold my head up high. Mm, five seconds of royalty-free music counts as fair use under the Constitution. 
Okay, we gotta go up. I mean, it's the it's the only way she flipping goes, you know. You think we gotta? What happens if we hit this one? Okay, so for this hits the first two. Perfect. This allows us to get out. You know what? Good work. That was not automatic that it was going to succeed, so I'm proud of myself. We just got to get through this room as quickly as possible. And I'm not worrying uh, basically at all about coins. I want to find special rooms. We need to buy meat. Still, though, I don't feel bad about not taking the potion. Because the potion wouldn't have healed us all the way. The potion would have healed us all the way with whatever our previous uh, HP was minus, or the, our previous maximum minus the amount of HP we had presently. You see what I mean? So, like, we wouldn't have gone from 35 to 115. We would probably be at, like, 75 right now instead, which isn't necessarily a bad thing at all. Okay, that, I, bad jump on my part. But I didn't realize that dude had a bubble of protection, which means he lived through. Oh, we gotta kill the wizard. Kind of banking on this being a two apple joint right here. Okay, kind of banking on this being a two apple joint right here, even though they're only gonna heal me for 10, presumably. I should have saved my bomb. Oh, what? I actually did not even see that one coming my way. So that was, I mean, straight up, I'll admit, bad play. We only got one level there. We did get a couple of cursed perks, but if I'm being honest, that's not what screwed me. So I think we're going to open our booster packs right off the bat. Well, I guess we can't without starting immediately. Um, yeah, my apologies, but there is a good take home from this mess or from this episode. And that take home is with keyboard and mouse. Eventually, I think I will be unstoppable. For now, though, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And for now, as always, I resolve to play better next time. And I'll see you next time to determine whether or not that's actually taking place.